Welcome to VTU e Sikshana. Myself, Professor Nitin Kumar, working as an assistant professor in Department of CSE VVC Mysore. So, in this video, I am going to explain the program number 5, which is present in VTU Mobile Application Development Laboratory syllabus for 6 semesters CSE and ISC students. So, the program number 5 deals with counter application. So, as the name suggests, it is just a counter. The main context of this particular program number 5 are the counter application is whenever you press a button start, the counter should increment the value. Whenever you press a button stop, the incrementation of counter value should stop. That is the outcome of this particular uh, mobile application that is counter application. The design is very simple. Just observe, I am going to design like this. There is no prerequisite which is required for this application as we have discussed in the program number 5. So, you can directly start the execution. Okay. So, I am going to give the title. The title is counter app or counter application. Then I am going to use two buttons here. One is start, other one is stop. Okay. So, and I am going to provide the counter value. or you can call it as 0 or counter value, whatever you want, or even you, you can mention it as counter value. So, please observe. So, the design is very clear. So, I need two text views. Why? Because even the counter value is also a component that is responsible for providing the result to the user, not the value that we are getting from the user. That is why, so the components are very clear two text views and two buttons. So, the layout that we are going to prefer for this particular application development is relative layout. Relative layout, why? Because I need I have four components here. So, I need text views, how many text views are required? Two text views are required. Along with that, two buttons are required. Out of those two buttons, I am going to rename those buttons start and stop. One text view is for just for displaying the title of my application, other one text view to display the counter value. Okay. The uh, applica application context is simple. Whenever you press the start, the counter value should increment. Whenever you press the stop, it should stop. This application is called counter application. So, I guess there is no doubts in the design. Let us start the development of this particular application. Now, I will show you how to develop the counter application. I will create a project. I will select the empty activity. Next, the application name is count application and the language is Java and finish. As I discussed earlier with respect to design, Design is very simple here. Just you are going to add four components. That is two buttons. One is start, other one is stop. Along with the two buttons, two text views. One text view is to display the title, other one text view to display the result. So please remember one thing, whenever you are going to display something to the user, you are going to use text view, not the plain text. Okay. So now my project is ready. So, let us start the design process. Okay. So, as per the design requirement, we do not need any external file support or external documents for this particular application, counter application. So, I will go to design. So, I will change the layout. As I need four components, I am not going to use the constraint layout. If I need only one or two components, then it is better to go with the constraint layout. So, I will go to the code part and I will change the constraint layout to relative layout. Okay. So, go to design. So, already we have a text view here. So, this default text view will appear for any new project that you are going to create with the message a lower. So, I will use the same text view and I will rename the text present in the text view. I will make it as counter application. 
and I will change the size. I will increase the font size. It's not mandatory to have this title just to indicate the user that this application, the role of this application is to provide the counter. I'm using this title. Next, I will add two buttons. So button number one to start the count value. So next I will add the second button. It is to stop the count value. So now I will rename the button one and button two. So I will rename this button text to start. Next I will rename this button. I will make it as stop. Whenever you click on this button, the count should be started. Whenever you click on this button, the, the count incrementation should stop. So to display the count, I will add the text view. Okay. I will add the text view and I will set, I will place it between those two buttons. Okay. So as the text view is smaller, I will increase the font size. So I will increase it to 30 so that the count should be visible to the user. So in place of text, what we have here, the text that we have here is text view. I'm going to change that into counter value. Text, we have text view in place of text. I will change this one to counter value. Okay. So this is what I have written on the board. Same thing I have designed here. So this is the title counter application. Whenever you click on this start button, the account will start incrementing. Whenever you click on this stop button, the incrementation will stop. This counter value text view is responsible for displaying the count. So go to the code part and note down the IDs of button as well as count displaying text view. Don't worry about the first one. Why? Because we are least worried about the title. We are not going to use that title text view anywhere in our Java part. So this is the first button. The responsibility of this button is to start so that I'm going to rename the ID so that I can easily recognize button underscore start. So the start button ID is button underscore start. So I will rename the ID of the second button. The responsibility of this button is to stop the incrementation. So I will rename it as btn underscore stop. Okay. So next note down the ID of the result giving text view. Result giving text view is the counter value where the text is counter value. That's the result providing text view. So note down the ID. The ID is text view. That's it. So three IDs you have to note down here. The ID of the text view, which is responsible for displaying the result is text view itself. The ID of the button, which is responsible for stopping the incrementation is btn underscore stop. The ID of button, which is responsible for starting the incrementation of count value is btn underscore start. Okay, we are done with design. Whatever I have mentioned in the board, same thing I have designed here. So let's start with the Java part. Firstly, I will define the required number of variables as well as prerequisites, global variables. Firstly, I will declare the button. Button. So btn start. From here onwards, I am referring the start button as btn start. btn stop. Okay. So these are the two references or the variables which I am using from here onwards to refer the start and stop button. Next, I need to declare a variable for text view which is responsible for displaying the result. That is text view. I will use it as text. I will use text counter as a variable. So from here onwards, the result displaying text view will be refer referred as 
text counter so along with this i will declare the i value that is i will initialize the i value the count should start from 1 if you want the count should begin from 0 means you can initialize it to 0 okay the count will begin from 1 so as we are working with the count and the threads we need handler i will call the handler here and the i will define the reference for that handle handler that is custom handler as we are working in java we need to make use of camel case naming convention it's nothing but a new handler we are done with the defining variables which are required in my program as a global variables so i am working with two buttons i am declaring the variables button start and button stop to represent them i am working with a text view to represent the count value i will refer from here onwards by using the name text counter and the value will begin from 1 as we are working with the threads i need a handler that's why i am calling a handler so the reference that i am using here from here onwards is custom handler okay so now i need to recognize identify the method that i am using here is direct method that is firstly you need to identify firstly you need to note down the id nextly you need to identify the particular components in your java part by using find view by id next you have to add the action listener inside that on click method you have to write the logic next the execution will happen okay so firstly i will recognize the start button that is btn start that's the reference right what we have defined button start is equal to find view by id resource dot id of start button it's nothing but btn underscore start that's why i have mentioned to note down the ids of two buttons as well as the result giving text view what is btn stop means similarly find view by id what is there r dot id dot btn stop next text view will be referred as text counter is equal to find the text view by id id is just text view r dot id dot text view so we are done with the identification of three components which are present in my design and which will play an important role in my program one is start button we have identified stop button we have identified and the counter or the text view which represent the counts we have identified we are done with this step identification step so now i will add the action listener these are the four steps that i have mentioned in the direct method invocation note down the id find the particular component by using that id in the java part add the action listener it will automatically create the on click method inside that place the java logic so firstly i will add the action listener for start button it's nothing but btn start dot set on click listener new on click list okay so here i am going to represent the i am going to mention the logic logic is nothing but i am going to call the handler and i am going to mention the thread and along with the delay the incrementation should happen for every 1 second that's what the delay that i am going to mention okay i will call the custom handler dot post delay i will call i will call the thread which i have not declared yet that is update timer thread it will show error for this one so i will initialize this after uh, adding the action listener for both start and stop button don't worry about this error right now okay so then the delay of updation should be zero Zero millisecond. I will provide the delay. I will up, provide the updation delay in the thread. That should be one second. It's nothing but thousand milliseconds. Okay. So just have placed the logic. It's a one line logic. I am calling the handler, and its post delay should be zero. 
and I'm assigning the update timer thread. Okay, so just to check where this particular uh, listener is closing, just place the cursor. No, it's not closing here. So it is closing here. So next, add the action listener for button stop. BTN stop dot set on click listener new on click listener. So here, once again, I will call those this uh, custom handler. So whenever you click this stop button, whatever the callback that you have given should be removed. That's what I'm going to provide as a instruction here for the custom handler. Custom handler dot remove callbacks. What's the thread name? Update timer thread. That's it. Okay. So I am done with the adding the action listener and the writing the logic for start and stop button. But now I am getting the error in update timer thread. Why I am getting error in this update timer thread? I have not declared any thread here. That's why I am getting the error. So now I will declare the thread after this where this action listener is going to close. So here the action listener is closing. So after this line, I am going to write the thread here. So that's a private thread which is applicable only for closing here. After this method, I'm going to write. That's a private thread. Private final runnable. The thread name is update timer thread is equal to I'm going to make it as runnable. So once you add this runnable, it will automatically override a method void run. Inside this, I'm going to write the logic to increment the text counter value. Okay. Once you add this thread, so it will automatically override the class run. Inside that, I'm going to represent the logic to increment the counter value. So as we represented the text view. Text view is referred by using the name text counter. So that I'm going to mention here. So whenever the run thread will be run, the text counter dot set text is I. I means I have initialized the initial value to one. It will start from one. Okay. That's now the text counter text view value has been set to one. Okay. Then I will call the handler custom handler the method post delay. Why? Because that's the one which is responsible for incrementing the counter. Right? That's the one which we have mentioned in the start button post delay. Okay. And I will give the context that is this and I will give the delay for how many seconds once the incrementation should happen. So as I mentioned earlier, the incrementation should happen for every one second once. That means 1000 milliseconds. That's the delay. For every 1000 milliseconds once, the I value should be incremented. That's it. That's the end of this program. Okay. It's a simple program. So this is one of the smallest program which is present in your syllabus along with the text to speech application. It's around five to six lines you have to remember in this program. So just I will go run through this program. Just observe here. So we are using two buttons in my design. That is start and stop that I am declaring here the variables for button start and stop. Next, I am declaring a variable for the text view, which is responsible for displaying the count value and the count value should begin from one. That's why I'm initializing the I value to one. And I'm calling the handler. Why? Because we are creating a thread here to perform the incrementation as well as to stop the incrementation. That's why I'm calling the handler. It's a service that comes under Android OS. So once of that, I'm recognizing the components which are there in my design, such as start button with its ID by using find view by ID method stop button with its ID by using the find view by ID method text counter. It's nothing but text view by using the ID and the method find view ID. 
Next, I'm adding the action listener for start button. Once you add the action listener, it will automatically override a method on click. So inside the on click, I am calling the handler by name custom handler. So I'm calling a method post delay. So where I'm passing the thread and the delay should be zero. Whenever you click start, it should automatically start incrementation without any delay. Okay. So next I'm calling the action listener for stop button. So it will automatically override on click method. Whenever you click on the stop button, it should remove that callback which you have given for the timer thread. Okay. So finally, so you will get the error for this update timer thread, which, which has not been declared. So I will declare the update timer thread and I will make it runnable. So it will automatically override a method by name run. So where inside that I am setting the text counter value to I, it's nothing but one. Whenever you click on this particular start button, it will call a method post delay for every one, one second once. It's nothing but 100,000 millisecond once the I value should be incremented. As I'm using the direct method here, so I'm not following the indirect method. I'm using the direct method by using the action listener for the buttons which I'm using in my program. So there is no need of writing, there is no need of writing uh, the on click function inside the design file. So I will click on the play button. Let's see the output, how it looks. The design is very simple as well as the logic is also very simple. Just the thing is you, you from this application, you're going to learn how to work with the threads, how to use the handler in the form of counter application. It's a simple application. Just you have to remember around two to three lines of code and you have to remember how to use the handler. So I'm getting the output. Just observe this is my output screen. The application name is counter application. So it is provided with two buttons. One is start and stop. Whenever I click on the start, the value should increment. Whenever I click on the stop, it should stop the incrementation. Just observe, I will show the output start. It is started. Just ob observe the values is creep uh, is keep on incrementing for every one second once. So whenever I click on stop, it should stop. Just observe. So I clicked stop button. The value incrementation is stopped. So whenever I click on start again, it should increment. If I click on stop, it must stop. The design is very simple for this application. Just you're going to add a title as counter application. We are not going to use this anywhere in our program. Two buttons, note down the IDs of those two buttons and a text view. You will uh, recognize the, uh, you will change the value of the text view to counter value and you will note down the ID. Once after the design, you are going to come to the Java part. In Java part, you are going to declare the required variables as a global variables. Then you are going to add the, you are going to identify the widgets which are there in our design such as start, stop, as well as text view which gives the result. Then you are going to add the action listener for start button and you are going to call the handler inside that on click and you are going to use post delay and you are going to mention the timer thread. So you are going to add the action listener for stop button inside the on click you are going to call the handler. So whenever the stop button is pressed the call remove callback will be triggered so that the execution will stop. So once after that you are going to re, uh, declare the timer thread and it will automatically override run method inside that you are going to set the text for the text view which is responsible for the displaying result. So the customer handler you are going to use here and you are going to represent the delay for of one second it's nothing but 1000 millisecond for every 1000 millisecond the incrementation of high will happen. This is a simple program. This is the program number five on counter application. Thank you.